we ourselves are embodiment of the past we are living breathing moving around museums of the past for example this language that we are speaking right now english how is it that we managed to speak english it's from our past and the history that has happened how it got transferred to india and indians and now we've started speaking it. and then the idea of the indian language for example in english i say i saw you now let's interchange these words i you saw you saw i saw i you almost none of these make sense but think about it in any indian language that you speak maine tumhe dekha tumhe maine dekha maine dekha tumhe dekha maine tumhe dekha tumhe maine every permutation and combination makes perfect sense there is some beauty that has developed in our language and our languages in our country which has a certain syntax a certain grammar that is so beautiful and that understanding that this is part of our culture and we are living it today it sort of inspires me and my students to know more, more about our culture because there's so much to learn connecting with the past makes it evident of what we are today why we are today and how we can use some of the wisdom of our past in the future with age we get weighed down by consciousness of what others are doing around us and by the distractions which are non productive that others elders create for us and so we lose this ability to be our own individual selves we begin to conform more and more with what is the idea of conformity that an adult sets for us each one of us is born to a drum beat you will not lose your individuality if you are earnest enough and are dedicated enough to search for the drum beat within and then march in harmony with that drum beat don't worry if the other fellow is out of step whether he marches ahead or behind you you march to your own tune us tune ko discover your tune there will be competition in life sometimes you will be ahead sometimes you will be behind others but that is inconsequential in the long run what you do with yourself is what is most important learn to learn well and learn with your hands learn in an experiential manner if you retain that spirit for the rest of your lives you will remain a child and be creative and more importantly enjoy life life ka ras lo enjoy life in a humble creative way i really like the word kaya kalp which applies to each one of us i believe that we should have regular kaya kalp provisions in our own thinking so that we rejuvenate ourselves regularly and come back to the original creativity that god had endowed us at first i was definitely kind of scared almost because it was way out of my comfort zone but i did it and now i want to do more so basically it's been a process of change almost because now i really just want to learn more about history and technology together what i think is in this past 6 to 8 weeks i have gone through a change which i might have not been able to go through in about the next 5 years i changed my perspective i am seeing history and technology in different ways now i'm seeing them together working the past and the future together for our present and our upcoming future for the next generation the role of a teacher is to change we need not be the know alls of everything but we do have some experience and some exposure we can perhaps act as mentors and facilitate learning rather than you know be the fount of all the knowledge because the knowledge is out there on the internet so that's also pointing out to the changing nature of teachers children are always more intelligent and i'll tell you my justification for it number 1 they or the world has not managed to kill their curiosity completely which happens continuously as one becomes an adult so children are always more curious second and more important thing is they keep their eyes ears and mind open to ideas whereas as we grow up we probably close our uh, focus on to things that we have started believing so children in any generation are always more intelligent than the adults the important challenge to the humanity is how to preserve that kind of intelligence even amongst children who grow up subsequently